First stop of the day is Sainsbury's. Um, I'm going to have a look at the Lego down here to see if there are any deals or anything on. I don't think there will be, although there was the other day, so don't know. We'll have to see. I'm going to turn you around now anyway, so and you can see what I can see. Uh, ooh! Thinking I might get a few of them, but I used to. Is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same one, isn't it? Yeah. 41065. Yeah, I'm gonna get a few. Oh, there's only one. Oh, great, there's only one. With the box alright. Oh, I don't like the security protected seals on. I don't like getting them with the security protected seals on because you have to take them off and they're really hard to take off, so I don't know. I might get one. I think I'm gonna get the remaining stock of uh, the Rogue One sets. This one here, 75182. Uh, they're only reduced by 20%, but is that 20%? Yeah, it's 20%. But I think they're gonna do well, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy them. Right, guys, I am going in Asda now. Um, hope deals or something in there. I've just been in Bernardo's. I didn't film in there because um, basically I was just having a chat with the manager. So I film or anything like that in there um, but yeah I'll get a bit of footage around the other charity shops very good but that somehow some sometimes that's the way it goes um i am actually meeting up with my grandma and my mum now uh they are in uh, a little sort of uh, department store near us called brats it's got a cafe up there so i assume um i might be getting some lunch which is nice um i absolutely look sorry i'm just readjusting my glasses i absolutely love it when we come out to the chat shops and we get a little bit of lunch out of it and stuff it's a really nice little day Bit of a change of plan there, just having drinks in uh, Black, so I thought I would... Oh, that's my grandma's car, I just realised that. My grandma's parked next to us, we're here, and my grandma's there. Um, but no, so, uh, bit of a change of plan there, just getting drinks, so I thought I wouldn't be the only one eating. I thought I'd just uh, go, go, and grab, go and grab some boxes, so I've got some box. Well, you won't be able to see them, but we're in the car, I've only got a few. I'm going back to get some more now. I am in desperate need of boxes, so... Uh, I need to get as many as I can really and some big ones. I've got the thing is, I've got loads of little ones, like I don't know, sort of wine box size, that sort of size, but I've got literally no big ones and um I'm selling a few bigger items at the moment and we're buying a lot of brass stuff as well. That's quite big uh, and bulky, so obviously I need to I need big ones for those. So yeah, um I'll just go and get some more boxes. I've got a couple more charity shops to do. he had um, he basically put on like 10 designs and just didn't get any sales like either yeah um, and I want to try and outsource it and like kind of um, put on one second here where are we who's behind me no be behind me Let's stop I know it's okay yeah. it's okay that's it there's grandma's car um, 
so yeah i kind of want to outsource it and pay pay for the designs rather than do it myself because i've got no time to do it myself but it seems like i have to look into it so much myself first off to make sure it's all legit and everything that it's going to take up a load of time the next few days to do that anyway but if i want it to be a passive income source i've got to take the time to do that basically in the you know in the fir well, first off but so, is that, does that not cost a lot of money to get you? It cost, yeah, it's going to cost about $15, $20 a design. I'm seeing you should not have that oh, many Oh, I've, I've got, not got my bloody device on it. <laughs> right, there we go. Um, yeah, so basically every free sale, a, de a design has got to get free. Okay. Um, no, so what was it? So, um, no, it, I don't know whether it's going to be profitable or not really, but it's got to be worth a go. You know, spending 30, 40 quid on a few designs, whack them up. Because if it works, the place I'm getting the designs from, they look pretty quality designs and stuff. Why it, are they not just selling them themselves instead of giving you the design? They probably do as yeah, well. They yeah. probably do. They probably sell the designs themselves. Yeah. And um, obviously on their website, they sell designs. Yeah. They've got a team of people. Yeah. So they probably have Amazon merch counters themselves and, and like set up designs that way. But also to make even more income and more solid income, they have their own website to sell designs to yeah. people. Because yeah. if you think of it, Amazon merch is still a fluctuating income. It's not a set income. So those guys who are selling on merch are still going to have down days and stuff. But to compensate for that, they create their own website and... Uh, sell wholesale designs to other people which might be um, a more steady stream of income because those people will always want designs to top up the merch account I don't know but mm. it's worth a go it's got to be worth 80 quid 60 quid in there got to be worth a go see if we sell if we don't sell we don't sell it's a venture that's failed but you know I don't really care I've had a billion failures always at the point of failure is, uh, is the point where you learn the most it's always <laughs> been the way I remember when I was doing Twitter and I made like hundred dollars in an entire year, but I wouldn't change it for a year. Uh, I wouldn't change it for a world because, you know, it was it was a massive learning experience. Same with YouTube. I mean, I earn like what two three hundred quid a year with YouTube, but it's for the love of doing it. I absolutely love doing it. So, you know, I've just got to try it and see what works. And I could always go back to doing like free, you know, like doing designs myself for free. Yeah. and try that again and, and then I have no cost so it doesn't matter how many times it fails then because I've got no cost I mean but the only problem is that sacrifices a lot of time and it's the whole time element I don't want I want merch to become a passive income stream almost for me that is on top of that's eBay. where Ryan works yeah I know Yay. I wonder what he's probably in today isn't he? I saw him the other day in his uniform what in there well he has to wear I think he has a white shirt on yeah, yeah, I think he has to wear like an Arnold Clark tie or something. Oh. I don't know, maybe not. Ooh. Maybe not. But yeah, that's so I want to try that. I want to try that. And it, yeah, okay, it's going to cost 80 quid or 50 quid or whatever to get like, because really I want like four or five designs or three or four designs um, to properly start it off, you know? Because one or two designs just isn't going to start it off properly. I might not get any sales from that, but two, you know, four or five might give me a couple of sales. And if I can get a couple of sales, I'll be able to hone down which designs are working and which aren't, you know. But we'll see. I'm going to have a chat to a few people who do merch more and, and see. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a new venture. It's a new venture. Fingers in pies, isn't it? Yes, yeah. The thing is, people all tell me all the time I can't do everything. But I don't necessarily have to do everything. I can outsource it to other people. I could do every job in the world. My company could run every job in the world if only I outsource to everyone else. <laughs> you could literally have a conglomerate business of everything in the world, but just outsource it, and then you just take the, the small bit of profit off the top for yourself, you know? <laughs> but imagine that saying that your business is everything. That would be, that'd be so cool. Be absolutely amazing that would but it's that would be a massive massive challenge you know it's something to dream for though you know to strive for it'd be cool 
Anyway, we're nearly home now.